everybody. Brady the Honest Woodcutter again. Ah, the sound of chainsaws warming in the morning breeze. Anyway, I got quite a bit of wood cut for you guys yesterday. I'm going to cut this white oak top this morning. And I'm just going to keep chewing my way back into this pile. I'm going to get away from... I'm gonna get away from these saws so I can so I can talk to you. I cut all this yesterday. I, I made a video and showed you what I cut, but it got screwed up and didn't upload right. So, and when I tried to upload it again, it said there was a dupe. It was a duplicate, so it wouldn't let me load it. So, screw it. I'll just make another one. So anyway, here's all the wood I got cut yesterday. Uh, this took me about two and a half hours of fighting through all this freaking brush. Cut all this good wood here. That one, that one there was a pretty nice one. I had to get out my PV for that one because I had my... It was uh, jammed in there. I got my Husqvarna stuck in it. I had to pull out the big guns. That I had to go get the big saw to cut it out with. And uh, a lot of pinching and jamming issues trying to get it out of there. But that's going to be a pretty nice piece of wood. I've still got quite a lot left in here. I've got... I don't really know exactly all what's in here until I get into it but it looks like I've got at least two more face cords in here with what with what with that over there too so I'm gonna try to get all this this whole spot cleared this morning and be done with it but yeah that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good amount of firewood nice and dry pretty good premium Anyway, guys, I'm going to set this uh, tablet up over here. I'm going to start trimming some of these branches. Let me see what we're looking at here. Oh, I forgot to mention that the uh, the local farm store where I buy my chainsaw supplies at was having a sale yesterday. All Oregon chains up to 20 inches were $13.95. So I bought three new chains yesterday. I've got a brand new chain, brand new 18 inch chain on the 450 now. I took the really good chain off the 450 and put on the John's Red. So uh, let's see how these things chew through some wood this morning. I bet it. I bet that John's Red's really gonna scream now. Uh, get you set up here if I can get this thing to work. There we go, I got it. Woohoo! Putting on the personal. My whole, putting on my entire ensemble of personal protection equipment. Let's get her done! <laughs>
Okay, I know what you're thinking. That's enough of the bullshit. Let's cut some wood. Let's cut some wood. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
As Eminem said, let's get down to business. I don't got no time to play around with is this.
Kind of a dirty sucker, wasn't it? You see what you're looking at here? Oh yeah, you can see me well. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go trim a few more of these little ones and roots and stuff, and that's probably gonna be it for now. That's about all I can do with that for now. So, anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about now is uh, I planned on doing this on another video, but that kind of ran short. So, I don't think you want to see me cut brush all morning. That's boring. It's like watching paint dry. So, anyway, 
I want, what I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, I want to tell you guys what got me into the firewood business. Uh, again, uh, well, this is actually about my third go round on the, on selling firewood. I think the first time I ever really delved into cutting any firewood to sell was, uh, back in about 97, yeah, 97, I was doing handyman work with a friend of mine and we remodeled the, uh, the basement in this house. And the guy had just bought this place and he had 20 acres of woods just like this. It had been logged and there was treetops laying all over the place just like this. And uh, I asked him if he if he would care if I come out and have those. And we made a deal. He wanted me to bring him, bring him one load for every three that I cut. And so I bought me a new, I went, when the job, the job ended, I took my, I took the money that I made out of the job. I went and bought me a brand new Husqvarna 261. It was that was a fine saw. That thing was a screaming demon, real beast. And uh, it was the only saw I had. I didn't if, if if I got it pinched, I was just screwed. Uh, I had a splitting maul, that chainsaw, and I had an old '74 Chevy 2500 rust bucket. And uh, so anyway, I cut wood out there for a little while. Me and him got into it that went that coming winter, and I was uh, asked not to come back. Imagine that with a nice uh, bland personality like mine. People don't like me for some reason. Go figure, right? So uh, that was my first, and then and then the next year, the next year in 1998, I believe it was, we had a really really big post oak tree removed from our yard, and that's a long story, but it was a big ass tree. We had it removed by a professional tree service and i got uh, almost five cords of wood out of that one tree believe it or not i mean it was humongous 80 90 foot tall and uh had a base of about six foot that, that went up about four and a half five foot and then split into double trunks massive tree and it was dying it had already dropped a branch and went through our roof and everything else so it was time for it to go and so we cut that tree down to find that one side was starting to get pithy and the other side had carpenter ants in it. I mean, and I do mean a lot of carpenter ants. And I got rid of those um, eventually. And so anyway, I sold the wood out of that tree because we didn't. We lived in town in a little tiny house and didn't even burn wood. So I sold the wood out of that. And then I didn't sell any wood again for a while. I, went, I got into doing construction heavy. I did some house uh, framing. I worked for a framer for a while. Uh, I worked for a guy doing drywall finishing for a while. And then in, let's see, 2002, yeah, 2002, I hadn't done, I hadn't sold wood in about four years, but uh, I was, I had a little factory job and uh, that quickly ended. That didn't last, I, they hired me on temporarily and then fired me. Uh, so anyway, I was driving along the road one day and, and saw that the county had been, uh, or the state rather, the state had been trimming trees along uh, high, uh, highway, uh, along Highway 5. And I started picking up wood piles out of the ditches and taking it home. And it had a lot of, a lot of limb wood in it, but it had a lot of good splittable wood, you know, kind of like this stuff here. And I started, to, I started taking that home, and I don't know, I probably took home three or four loads of that maybe five I made wood out of it took it to my brother's house which was like 30 miles away took it over there ricked it up put a sign out for sale uh it was quickly gone people wanted more so i started looking around and discovered that my neighbor who i didn't even know because we hadn't lived there very long um i'd only lived there a few months when i started cutting wood again at that location Anyway, my neighbor had a had a piece of woods that was not attached to his main property. He had another property where he kept cattle and stuff, and it was a uh, 360 acres with about one fourth to one third, probably one third of it, close to 100 acres of it being woods, and it, it had been logged and it had tops all over it. And I made a deal with him to cut wood on it. I was the only person that had rights to it. And nobody else. He told me if you see anybody else out there let me know because they don't belong so i cut wood out there for i think two years 
and then the wood started it started losing its sap ring and stuff and it wasn't as nice and then we moved away from that area um that was actually in uh hartville missouri i know uh charlie brooks i know you've been in hartville a few times so anyway yeah that was around hartville i was actually taking all of my wood to seymour most of my wood to seymour and selling it uh and so i had a lot of travel time in, involved in all that and then i didn't sell wood again until i guess this is my fourth go around with selling wood because i sold wood again and in 2007 we had that big ice storm come through springfield and then the following no it was 2000 yeah 2007 was the ice storm but the year before that in 2006 we had a tornado go through north of seymour where i was living and ripped up a bunch of trees and i got uh a deal to i scored a deal to cut wood off this guy's five acres that it had a lot of trees go down and so i was cutting all the down timber off of that and i thought at first i thought well i'm just gonna have a hoard of firewood you know well i ended up with a lot of firewood i actually cut about over 25 toyota pickup loads off of that property and uh so that winter or that coming yeah that coming winter the wood was nice and seasoned by then and we had that ice storm go through springfield and knocked all the power out and so i took some wood to springfield and sold it and i sold a little bit locally um and then that was pretty much the end of that and then i didn't really sell any wood again until 2017 uh 2017 i was traveling through uh an area here and just north northwest or northeast of here where there's a lot of um lumber mills uh hardwood lumber mills they make flooring uh cross ties things like that and i stopped to ask one of the mills if they had firewood um scraps or anything to give away because i didn't know where we were going to get wood at we just put bought this house down here and put this boiler in and wasn't sure where my firewood supply was going to come from so i um so anyway he says he says oh if you want wood he says come with me well anyway to make a long story short at the time they had over two acres of log butts where they trimmed the ends of the logs some of them were short some of them were long some of them were whole logs that they'd got in and they had a hole in the center or something they weren't usable they just throw the whole log in the pile and there was all kinds of wood in there hickory uh walnut mostly oak um some some once in a while you'd find sycamore uh cherry i've still got cherry at my house from from going to the mill that uh i'm that i use uh for uh smoking when i make when i smoke meat which i don't use very much of it so it's gonna last me a while i've got a lot of hickory left that, that i cut off of our place um anyway so I was going up there and it's 36 miles, 36 miles from my house to this mill. And I was going up there about three times a week, hauling wood home, hauling home loads of rounds on the truck and bringing it home. And then I, as I could, I'd cut it down and I'd end up with lots of, um, I call them cants, the little, the little end pieces. I had, a, I ended up with a huge pile of that that we ended up burning ourselves. And, uh, so anyway, and then, so it was, I was selling all split wood. I had, it was rare to find a piece of round wood in what I was selling that year. I had real good wood. And then last year I start, I came back from the Philippines and I started uh, going up there again. I went up there, I don't know, maybe, maybe six, five or six times and made me quite